So this weekend, NASCAR is back on the streets of Chicago. Can SVG go back to back? Hello everyone, my name is Kyle aka Racing Boy Short and this is my channel where I talk NASCAR, NASCAR news and everything NASCAR. If you haven't already, I would appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I do multiple NASCAR videos throughout the week. Also, give me your thoughts on this video. Who is your pick to win in Chicago? Plus, give me any improvements I can make on the channel. All right, first of all, happy 4th of July to everyone. If you're watching this on 4th of July or it's during 4th of July weekend, have a great and fun holiday. But this weekend, 4th of July weekend, NASCAR goes to Chicago for the second straight year to race the streets. Of course, last year, unfortunately, there was a bunch of rain, ended up shortening the event, canceling all the concerts. The Xfinity race got big time affected as well. It was just treacherous, flooding rain, if any of you remember. It was insanity, to say the least. Like I said, they ended up shortening the Cup Series event. And this year, they're actually going to be following pretty much what they did last year. Instead of running the 220 miles, it is 165 compared to what it was last year when they shortened the race for darkness. All I'm hoping on right now is no rain because the way the beginning of that weekend looked last year before all the rains came, it had a certain feel to it. Just seeing the people there, seeing the videos, and of course I wasn't there so I didn't actually was there to feel it, but seeing all the videos, seeing it on TV and all the new fans and then all the longtime NASCAR fans and almost awe about about what's going on there. It was pretty cool to see and then have all that rain wash out all the concerts affect both races severely it was very, very unfortunate. And I'm just hoping they don't get any rain this year. I have looked at the forecast for the weekend earlier on in the week. It said no rain, 0% chance of rain. But then when I checked yesterday, it looks like Saturday is still good. But Sunday it says it said 40% and a chance of lightning. We'll have to see if if that happens during that day. I'm, I'm really hoping they're able to get in a clean race and that there is no rain. Usually I'm okay with a little bit of rain on the track, especially a road course. But no, not, not this weekend. I don't want any of the events, anything to be affected. I want this to be a great weekend for everybody there for 4th of July weekend and a great weekend for NASCAR. Because this could be a great point for NASCAR to show off in front of a, a whole new audience. I don't think they really got that last year. A lot of the people that ended up staying for the race with all the rain were the diehards. Of course, there were a lot of new fans there as well. But a lot of the diehards were willing to withstand the rain to see such a historic event. All right, now that I've gone over my little rain spiel, let's get to the race itself and what to expect. Honestly... Just to kind of go based off what I just said, we don't really know what to fully expect because we didn't really have a clean racetrack a lot last year. It was covered in rain most of the time during the race, in the practices and qualifying. We don't really know how this track is going to drive. We saw it, like I said, we saw it a little bit in practice and qualifying, but so I'm very interested to see how the track races and how everybody's able to handle it because no one has really any experience at this track a lot of drivers also don't really have any street course experience of course Shane Van Gisbergen has street course experience you have AJ Allmendinger that has street course experience there's a couple other drivers that have some street course experience throughout the field as well Joey Hand he's going to be racing so he's a driver to watch out for as well driving the number 60 for RFK but I expect a lot of strategies, people 
pitting early before the end of the stage, some people trying to get stage points and playoff points, drivers that probably are going to make the playoffs, I would expect, and know they're probably not going to win the race. A dry, like No offense to Brad, I love Brad, but he's not a very good, very good road course racer, so I could expect to see him being maybe one of those drivers that decides to stay out and take the stage points and the playoff points because he's already in the playoffs and there's a good chance he's not going to be competing for the victory on Sunday. Overall, I expect this first stage to either be one of two things. It's either going to be extremely calm with everybody just taking their time, trying to really learn the racetrack and race conditions a little bit more. They will have practice, but who, who knows what will happen. Maybe it'll rain on I think practice on Saturday. Right now, the forecast has no rain, but who knows what could potentially happen over the weekend. But a lot of drivers, I feel like in this first stage, are going to be trying to learn the racetrack, so it could be very, very calm. But it also might just be a demolition derby as well, because like I said, none of these drivers are experienced really on street courses, let alone the Chicago street course in particular. All right, let's now get to my favorites on the event. Who do I think are going to be the drivers competing for the win on Sunday? Of course, I got to name Shane Van Gisberg, and Shane is definitely going to be one of the favorites. If if there is qualifying, I expect him to be probably on the front two rows. Joey Hand, I mentioned him earlier. I think he'd be a, probably a good dark horse to make a prediction on. He has experience on street course is a great road course racer has actually proven that he's pretty good in the stock cars as well he's also racing for rfk racing so he has good equipment so we'll have to see what he is able to do aj allmendinger that kind of goes without saying he has street course experience he's one of the best road course racers in nascar tyler reddick kyle larson chase elliott three fantastic road course racers chase elliott i think has not been quite as strong in the next gen era when it comes to road courses but track position i think is going to be a big thing so if these three drivers can get a good qualifying effort any of the drivers i mentioned actually get a good qualifying effort they're going to be competing for the win throughout the day because like i said i think track position is going to be a very big thing unless you're really able to shake up the race when it comes to strategy which it can happen if cautions do come out which i do expect a lot to because it is a street course there isn't a sand trap to go on into and gather it up so i do expect a good amount of cautions in this event but who is my pick to take the victory at chicago and i I think all of you probably know who i'm going to pick here i i love this guy i love every time he talks i love the way he races i love his interactions with the fans, with the media, with the other drivers. And I'm talking about Shane Van Gisbergen. He's going to go back to back at the Chicago street course with or without the rain. It does not matter. This Kiwi is going to go back to back in Chicago. He's just been so strong on the road courses, whether it's the Cup Series or the Xfinity Series Plus. This is a street course. He's going to be in good equipment racing for Colleg. Colleg has not been that strong this season, but they're still one of the top tier road course programs. That also could just because the drivers they have, but still, nonetheless, I expect Shane Van Gisbergen to get the job done, go back to back, and honestly lead the most laps, maybe even start on the pole. I have very high expectations for him this weekend. I actually expect him to sweep the weekend winning both races that would be insane if he's able to pull that off and then my dark horse pick i usually pick one but i i could not decide between these two drivers on my dark horse and that is joey hand who i mentioned earlier making a start for rfk a very experienced road course racer experienced on street courses as well racing good equipment in that number 60 car And then my other pick was actually the runner-up in the Chicago Street Course race last year, and that is Justin Haley. Justin Haley has had a very strong and honestly surprising to a lot of people's season 
racing for Rick Ware Racing. Honestly, his points position doesn't really say how his performance has been because over the last maybe two months, he's really picked it up in performance. has been consistently a top 15, top 20 driver every single week. And we know he can get the job done on the road courses. He's not necessarily one of the best road course racers in the series, but he is a very good road course racer. And he did prove that at the Chicago Street Course. He did get up front at the end of that race because of strategy, but he was able to hold that lead and actually battle SVG for quite a while before eventually SVG began to pull away to get that amazing victory. But give me all your thoughts down below. Who is your pick to win at the Chicago Street Course this weekend? Do you think SVG is going to go back to back? Do you think one of our NASCAR regulars like a Chase Elliott, Tyler Reddick, Kyle Larson, one of these drivers going to get to victory lane? Are you going to pick a dark horse like Joey Hand? Let me know down below. But that'll do it for me. Thanks for watching. My name is Kyle, aka Racing Boy Short, saying peace.